Hello and welcome to another video by the Ministry of Miniatures and today we've got a very special battle report. I am at Olabs and we are heading to Italy uh, where we are going to see the US Army push back or in my, hopefully it will be pushing back the Italian Army. Uh, as you can see across there we've got Olaf's Army but first of all let's have a look at the board uh, and see what we're playing. Right, so we have the small village of Spiroli. We've got uh, an ancient Roman wall uh, which just denotes the boundary. A few ruins on the side here. And then as you can see, we again are using the Geek Villain Mat, um, which is perfect for sort of an Italian Sicily campaign. And as you can see, we've got uh, some hills underneath. So that makes uh, a much uh, more playable field. Um, and as you can see there, we've just put some foam underneath just to make those hills stand out. Um, what we're going to be doing is just playing a war of attrition. Most dice wins for kills. We've both got um, about the same dice, 11 dice each. Olaf's got 12. Um, and what we're going to play is the trees are going to offer soft cover and the discs will just denote roughly where that border is. The sandbags will also be, sand, uh, will be soft cover. And then over here, we'll treat the ruins um, as hardcover and we'll tr just treat them ordinarily as we would ruins. The walls kind of are out of play because um, unless you want to get up there, you can get hardcover, but they're kind of out of the way. And it's just, as I say, going to be a, raw, uh, a war of attrition. Uh, most kills wins. So let's have a look at the armies. Okay, so this is my 1,000 point US Army. I've based it on, I think it's the Sith Corps from the Italian um, campaign book. Um, and as you can see, I have got an honorary patron at the front here, which is going to be Bear. Um, he's uh, a young lad that's uh, recently had a kidney transplant. So he is my honorary commander and he's gonna be Lieutenant Bear. Then I have got two regular infantry squads. Uh, each has a 10 men uh, and an NCO. The NCOs have uh, SMGs and each of the back has a BAR. Then I have a Ranger Squad, which a veteran that has a BAR in the squad. And then I've got a veteran um, Ranger Squad here, which is a seven man squad with an NCO. At the back, I've got a regular mortar with spotter. I've got a veteran sniper. And then I've got two uh, bazookas. I believe they're both regular, but I'll need to check my list in a minute. And then I've got a regular Jeep with medium machine gun. And then I've gone for the half track, which has got a heavy machine gun at the front and two light machine guns, one on each side. So there we go. That's just over a thousand points and 11 dice. Let's have a look at the Italians. Right, this is Olaf's 1000 points exactly uh, Italian army. Uh, let's have a bit of a closer look. So up first is his general, and we have Gerd Greywolf, our patron, who's going to be leading the Italians today. Um, everything in the army is going to be regular, apart from the medic and the armoured car, which are going to be veterans. So Olaf has four identical squads uh, made up of eight men. The NCO has an SMG, and each of the squads has uh, an LMG. So that's four identical regular squads. And the medic is veteran. He also has a medium machine gun, which is regular, a medium mortar, regular sniper, and then the Sahari. Oh no, actually you've got uh, an uh, anti-tank gun. Yeah, the anti-tank rifle, that's good. And then the half, uh, so it's a Sarihana, is that right? Sahariana. Sahariana which is uh, a veteran. And then we've also got a Semaventi uh, tank, which has got 75 mil. Yep. Excellent. So that's a thousand points, uh, 12 order dice. Okay, so dice are in the bag. We're gonna start with our deployment phase. So let's see. It's and it's Americans first. So let's have a look what I'm gonna go. do. So I have put my medium mortar into the ruins. Yeah, so I'm just bringing his mortar in the ruins on that side. We could be having a mortar off here, couldn't we? <laughs> <laughs> could be fun. Yeah, it could be. 
eventually wins. <laughs> okay, next dice. One of mine again. Yep. Yep. Yep, me and the machine gun running on. Very good. Americans. American, right, let's have a look. Okay, so I've just run uh, one of the regular squads on. Pointing up the right hand flank. And. I think tell you it's correct. There you go, so Alas just run one of his uh, Italian infantry squads on. American again. American, right. Oh, nice, I'm going to do something similar. Okay, so I've just run the veteran uh, rangers on the table. Another American. Another American. Right, let's have a look. And I've just run a regular squad up towards the sandbags. Italians. Italians, good. There you go, so there's uh, Olaf's second infantry squad as a run on. Next dice. Italian again. Italian again. Now he's full even. There's going to be a bit of a battle in the middle, I think, with all the infantry running towards each other. There we go, so Olaf's Italians have come up on the flank on this side to counter the Americans. Okay, next dice. Americans. Yeah, let's have a look. So, I am going to... Let's bring a bazooka on. Bring him on the middle here and just pop him there. Okay, next. Italian again. Okay. So your infantry is quite well spaced out, isn't it? Yeah. Very good. Yeah, there. Okay, so that's the Italian medic has come on. Another Italian. Yeah, that's what we want. Show me your no, tanks. We don't, we don't, we don't. You did as well, you brought your tank in. Yeah, well done. Well done. It looks quite well camouflaged on the table actually. For the stones. Very good. That Italians one. again, and we've got the half uh, the uh, half track. Sariana. Sariana, that's it. I'll remember that name in a bit. Uh, that's come on over on the far side. He's got Ricky. Ah, uh, okay, jolly good. American. Yeah, let's have a look what I've got left. Okay, so I've just brought my officer in just to give some support in the middle. There's not many left, are there? No. American. Good. Right, so I am going to bring in my half track with the engineers. I'm going to come up here so they've got the engineers in them. And my half track's just there. Italian. Okay. Anti tank rifle. Yep. Italian again. Left on my side is my officer, and then it's the sniper. I think my officer, Teniente Luigi Grigio Lupo. AKA Gary Wolf. <laughs> he's come on, and he's going to support your troops there, which is very good. What's left? Can't be much. American. Okay, so I am going to bring on my second bazooka, which I'm going to hide behind the woods here. I'll be here, there we go. American. My engineers are going to go down. In the half track. Another American. And then that must. 
Okay, so I've just brought my Jeep on next to the half track to try and take out possibly the anti tank gun, the rifle. Nice and Italians. And to be fair, that's probably because the last die should be mine, and that's pretty much what I'm going to do as well. Right, there we go. So that's the deployment phase finished. We have got the Americans in a nice little line across here. And we've got the Italians in a nice little line across there. Um, the Italian sniper is positioned nicely in the building on Olaf's left flank and on my right flank, which is Olaf's left, I've got my sniper. And then I've put the mortar spotter hiding up here. So he's got a good view of the battlefield. You can pretty much see everywhere from there. Um, and that's the deployment finish. So we will go into turn one. Good luck. Yeah. Um, not really, but... Um... <laughs> one for two now. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Right, let's see you for turn one. Turn one. Who's got the first the eyes? Italians. It's Italians. Choices, choices, choices. Watch what at the uh, bazooka that I can see over there. Yep, yeah, okay, so LF has got the first dice and he's shooting at my bazooka. Oh, yeah, that's good yeah so you, you've hit me on a five. So it's just regular, so you need a four to kill the team. And you get a two, so that's a pin. So one pin on the bazooka. Oh, I thought you were going to get it then. So did I. Italians again. Italians again, eh? Crikey. Machine gun squad into the sandbags. Yeah, good call. Cool. Distance wise, no problem. One thing we've forgotten to do, which is Rangers lead the way. I've got a special rule that before we start ah. turn one, they get a free run order. Okay. Which I need to, it's not going to impact the game so far, no. but all they're going to do is just do a run order into the sandbags next to your medium machine gun. So let's just move them now and then come back. There we go. So I've just put my rangers kind of into the sandbags to try and get them some cover from that. Um, and then I've offered Olaf to change his order if he wants, but he wants to stick with where he is. So that's absolutely fine. Okay, next dice. Italians. Crikey, you're getting all the dice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bad. Same thing, I run into that one, which is no problem at all. Yeah, but you're getting some good positions on you, so that's always a bonus. Very nice. I'm going to run these guys towards those sandbags <laughs> as well. Yes, I thought you might. Be rude not to, really, wouldn't it? Yeah. That should be good enough. Oh, that would have been really rude not to do. Americans. Okay, let's have a look what I'm gonna do. Right, so it's Americans next, and I'm gonna move my half track nine inches up to here. And I am going to fire the light machine gun on this side into those, and the heavy machine gun into those. So let's start with the heavy machine gun. So I don't think I'm within six. So I've moved, which is four, soft cover fives. Is that right? Mm -hmm. One hit, so that's a pin. And they're regular, but it's plus one because it's a heavy. Two, so no, just a pin. And then the machine gun on this side. Okay, so the machine guns on the side are medium machine guns, so I've got five shots and I'm going to be shooting at those guys there. So it's movement four, soft cover five. Three hits. And then I just need a four to kill. Ooh, two kills. And roll the six again. All right, so two dead and a pin. Uh, one pin. Okay. 
Well, yes, that's my hot dog. Hey. My Italians, yep. Anti tank rifle is going to take a pot shot at the Jeep. Now, you might not be able to because you need to, oh, you might be all right. You need to have an inch clear of your troops. So if you put your measuring ruler down. And is there an inch from your gun to my Jeep? Well, there you have to go for that. You have to go for that, don't you, really? So is that an inch clear? Mm, not quite, no. no. But you can pick a different target. Well, we weren't measuring for range. We were measuring to see if you had that inch, which I pretty yeah. much could see you couldn't. Hmm. In that case, there's not a huge amount else I can. Well, you can try and snipe someone from over here as long as they're in range. They'll get they'll get, I'll they'll get for, cover. I'll, I'll, go for the I'll go for the bazooka again. I mean, visibility wise, it's not an issue, and we are at thirty four inches, which is within range. It's going to be long range, small team. Is it soft cover or I don't know if you want to get down? Probably. Okay, so we've got long range is four, small team five, soft cover sixes. So one shot needing a six, but if you get it, you then got the penetration value. You? For a second, I saw it. It was there, almost. <laughs> For a second, I saw it. Yeah, so Italians are uh, going into the building, or the ruins, so that's good. Apologies for the doors and everything still lying on the ground inside. Well, but it's we a bit of a wreck, isn't it? As so. we go. Now there's a run to get them into the building if memory serves. Well, we're treating it as a ruin, aren't we? So, True. next dice. Come on, where's the American dice? There we go. Okay, I'm going to find my sniper at your mortar. So, we ignore cover. So, I just need a three to get your mortar. And I get it. And is it a regular mortar? Yep. Six. That's gone. It's all right. I know the feeling. Yeah, so that's um, exceptional damage. Uh, so that's one nil to the Americans. I'll put it up on the wall. Nice shot. It makes a change for snipers, doesn't it? what we did with uh, George as well. We used the wall for... Yeah, <laughs> keep a track of it. Yeah, it's good. All right, next dice then. So now frees up my mortar to start bombing people. Americans. Talking of which... Uh, I'm going to fire my mortar uh, at I'm going to fire at the unit in the centre there. So needing a six. Oh, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I got a six. So it's going to be five guys because it's a two-inch template. Probably yeah. Okay, so five dice. They're regulars, so okay, so that's three dead because I had a two as well, and it's plus two, and they're regulars, so that's three dead plus uh, D three pins. Oh, I'm really sorry, I rolled a six, so they're now on four pins. I'm really sorry, and we're ranged in. Italians, Italians. Ooh. Yep. How far was that, do you know? Because if it's six, you could have just advanced and shot. That's what I think I want to do, because this yeah. is six. It's not even yeah, six. Yeah, actually. I was going to do that, advance and shoot, because it's only soft cover, isn't it? We're yep. not doing it as difficult terrain or anything, so yep. advance and shoot. Correct, at those guys there. Yeah, I think that. Right. So it's still going to be, so you've got movement for... Uh, a soft cover five, isn't it? Correct. Just working out how many shots you got. That's what I need to do, which is for the rifles, machine gun and loader. That's five rifles, machine gun six, seven, submachine gun is eight. Yeah, and they all need fives because the SMG doesn't have a movement penalty that's got long range and the others don't have long range but have a movement penalty. So in the, in the, in the tray. There you go. So you've got one, two, three, four, was that? Got six there. Yeah, four hits. And one dead. Let's just take a guy back here. There you go. One dead. 
Okay, I am going to get my engineers out of the half track here and they're gonna land right in front of your troops there. Okay, my engineers are disembarked. We're now point blank and I'm gonna attack your uh, Italian troops there. So first things first, let's do the flamethrower. So it's movement four, but point blank three. So I need a three to hit and I get a six. Of course you do. Uh, D6 hit, six. Sorry, should we do that now? I hate flamethrowers. I know, it is an engineer squad. Uh, so the flamethrower is uh, plus three. So if they're regular, it's anything but one, isn't it? Pretty much, yeah. So I've got one, one. So that's five dead. So five dead. Just from the flamethrower. Right, so pins, D3 plus one. How, what are the chances of that? Three sixes in a row. So that's four pins, plus the one I've already got, so on five. So you need to test your morale. Eight, they're gone. So I won't even bother firing the rest of the, the unit. Oh, hang on. There we go, so the Italian have been wiped out by the US engineers. Uh, and that makes it 2 0. So Olaf hates engineers. Um, I love them, but I am quite lucky, three sixes in a row. Right, let's check for fuel. Oh, I saw a one then, but it's not, it's a five, so they've still got fuel, that's fine. Right, next dice. Italians. Italians, okay. Uh, well, my Simaventi is going to take a pot shot at the bazooka team over there. Okay. Just because I can. Mm -hmm. No movement involved whatsoever. That's a 75 millimeter. Have you checked the range, see if it's more than half? That's the next thing I'm going to And do. it's a small team. Uh, actually, you know what? No, I'm going to find the unit next to it. Ones that haven't come out yet. That one, yeah. Uh, we are a 75 mil, which has a range of 60. So it should be, but let's measure it and see. Yeah, that is 29. Oh, perfect. But they did get soft cover from the trees. Yep, no problem with that. So um, it's just a four. Two inch template if anything happens. Yeah, so you've hit, and I reckon you can probably get three, maybe four. Let's see if you can get four. Yeah, I'll give you four there. So if you put it over those four, you can get four. So they are veteran though. That's all right. So you get plus two penetration, so you need three, well threes. Four dice needed threes. Yeah, two kills. And roll that six again in case you can get something special. All right, so. Two dead. Let's take ones off the end here. And we need to put some pins on. Yep. That was D3. D3. Two. Excellent. Two pins. Yay. Right. So two dead on the Americans there as well. Another Italian one. Cracky. They're all coming out your way, aren't they? Yeah. Don't like that much. Do you know what? I'm going to run my medic across this way. Yeah. I think he, this side's going to need it more. That's the only unfortunate part, because you didn't bring him up to support the troops yeah. there. They could have done with that, couldn't they? Yeah, but he, that he needs to be within six inches yeah. of them to do anything in the first place. So he'd have to have literally been here, wouldn't he? Yeah. So, so, but he couldn't get anywhere no. near them before that happened. No. And him on his own in the open is ridiculous. Another Italian. Another Italian. Oh God. There we go. So Olaf has just run his officer across to support this flank. Good. Now we get a lot of Americans all coming 
So I might as well do a call to action. So I'm going to advance Bear, my Lieutenant Bear, and he's going to pull another dice with him and get the bazooka team moving as well. So if you could take another US dice out for me. Okay, so Lieutenant Bear's just run forward to there, and then I've got to do a, a check with these guys. They've got a pin on them. So before they can move, they've got to pass a check, and I get double one. So that comes off, just what I needed. And they are going to run the 12 inches into the woods. So that takes them, yeah, right up into the corner there. There we go, so they're just aiming to get towards your tank at next round. And that was a run order. Okay, next dice. Americans. Right, let's get this unit moving. They've got two pins on them. Oh, nine. 10, 11, the officer brings it down to 10, but they're regular, so they just get down. It must've been fate, it was on down already. So yeah, that unit's just gone down. Another American. American, okay. Okay, I am going to advance my Jeep. I'm gonna do a pivot, and I'm gonna drive up into the middle of the battlefield. Okay, so my Jeep's just advanced to there, and I'm gonna open fire on your guys in there. So I've got medium machine gun, so that's five shots. It's movement four, soft cover five. So I need him five shots, fives. I've got three with two sixes. So that's another pin on those guys in there. And then needing fours, one dead. They're down to two men. Right, another American one. Yeah, it had to be really, didn't it? Um, no, I've still got one left. Let's have a think. Okay, so I'm going to activate my Rangers, hopefully. They've got one pin, so let's try and see if I can pass that. Yeah, so that's gone, and I am going to shoot at... Is that a heavy machine gun or a medium? Medium. Um, I think, actually, I'm going to shoot at... <laughs> yeah, let's see if I can take that out. So I've got to work out all my dice because I've got a few there and then see what I need. Right, so I've got an SMG here, which is long range uh, and soft cover. So that's two shots of five. And then the rest here with the BAR and the rifles needing fours because it is um, soft cover. So let's do the fours first. One, two, two hits. And then the fives. So two hits, they a pin, and then I need fours to kill. Nothing but a pin. So all that firepower, and it's just a pin. Well, that's good for me. Yeah. Uh, that's not okay, American Dice, so I'm just going to advance this unit up. Okay, so I'm going to just going to shoot at Olaf's sniper there. So it's going to be movement four, long range five, hard cover. Small teams, so it's going to be sevens, and I've got 11 dice. Okay, so 11 dice needed seven. So I've got, oh, that's cocked. So two sixes. Nothing. Okay, so I left moving forward is the Horana. And my rangers look like they're going to be in for a bit of a shot. Okay, so uh, Olaf's going to fire his auto cannon at my rangers. So he got two shots. Uh, so it's movement three, four, soft cover five. So the six hits, but not yep. the three. So that's one hit. So you've got three guys in there because you're using HE, aren't yep. you? So you can hit three with a one inch template. So you roll three dice. That's one, two. That's all three. The first one was a miss. All right, okay. And what? Uh, so they're five. Because yep. I bets, and you've got what plus two is it? Yep. Uh, so that's two dead. So let's take the two off there. And they get some pins. And then we have the machine gun. So D2 pins. So that's going to be two. So they're on two pins. I'll stick two on. There you go. And now you've got your, is it a medium machine gun? Medium machine gun, five shots. Okay. 
Uh, so one hit. Because it's movement four, yeah. soft cover five. And then again, you need a five. So just almost there. Yeah. So two pins, two dead. Well, it's not too terrible. Yeah. And that is all of mine done. And I think there's one dice. Yes, American left. Do you know what I've got left? Spotter. No. Bazooka. Oh, <laughs> so uh, I was holding me off in case you did exactly that. So now I'm going to advance him up and see if I can get a shot. Okay, so I've just moved my bazooka up. And as you can see there, they got a nice shot on the side of the Sahariana. The Sahariana. And it, I've just measured it and it's within 12. So not long range, so it's going to be movement four. That's it. And you can't break it because you've just moved. So let's get a four, come on, four plus. Five, yes, so I've hit, so penetration plus five for bazooka, I believe. So, um, what's your side armor? Are you a seven? I would guess that would be a seven. Where do I find that? Okay, so we've just checked and the armor on that is six plus. My bazooka's got a plus five um, and it doesn't take a penalty for long. There's a shape charge. So, anything but a one and I penetrate. I saw the one there, did you see? So three, uh, that's only two over, so we need to roll on a damage chart, and I get a six, so that's destroyed. <laughs> of course. <laughs> what are the chances? <laughs> oh dear. Lucky dice rolling, lucky dice rolling. And that actually makes it three nil, doesn't it? It does. Okay, so that's the end of turn one, and things are not looking good for the Italians. Um, the Americans have made some good ground, um, but the Italians have lost a couple of units. So let's um, put the dice back in and see what happens on turn two. Turn two, everything to play for. Let's see who gets the first dice out of the bag. Italian. Italians. Yeah, the Italians go first and lose. <laughs> Uh, I'll be stupid not to do anything with my... Do you have a special rule that when you're losing by three dice you get silly morale or something? Mm, not that I'm aware okay. of. Okay. Why? Now I thought the Italians had a rule where when they're losing by three... I'm not aware of that. Okay. I'll, I'll I don't ever play <laughs> uh, Italians. To be fair, it'd be a bit unfair to them put that on as well, wouldn't it? Meet a machine gun. There you go. So you've got one pin, so you need to take a test. Regulars. Yeah, seven, eight, so they've passed the test. And then it's gonna be a machine gun, just soft cover's the only thing, isn't it? Yep. Five dice. Yeah, needing fours. Two hits. Gotta be kidding me. So that's just another pin. That is so insane. they're up to three pins. That's absolutely insane. Uh, they're hunkered down behind the sandbags. Okay, so I'm going to fire my sniper at your sniper. So we ignore cover. So it's just going to be a four because you're a small team. And I get a four. Of course. So they're regular. So if I get a four, that team's gone. And I get a four. Of course. So that's another dice out of the bag. They are talking about making the snipers less powerful because of that very reason. Well, <clears throat> I think the big problem is just, we were A, too close to each other with our snipers, and B, some lucky rolls. I, I, yeah, I, I did a video about luck. Well, Rick did a video about <laughs> my lucky dice rolling. But there we go. He says, I'm just a little bit lucky, but not that much lucky, but we'll see. Americans. Americans, right, that's what I'm going to do. Right, I am going to move my sniper, uh, not my sniper, my bazooka. So let's get a, a six inch roll. And I'm just going to move him across to here. And then I'm going to try and see if I can take a shot at your tank. So if you can measure, see if that's within, that's within 12. Right, so it's going to be movement four, 
long range five, so not such a good shot, but let's have a go. Of course he's going to get it. No, I miss. <gasps> what? Yeah. Let's put one of those. There you go, and now <laughs> I'm just going to take really open. But that's fine, I needed to have a go. Americans again. Right, Americans again. This time, Bear, Lieutenant Bear, he is going to do another with me. And he is going to run across here to here to give support to this ranger unit. And he's going to pull a dice out for the bazooka. And they're going to advance six to there. And they're going to fire at your tank. And hopefully that's within 12, so it'll just be a four this time. Just. Okay, so you're doing a four. One. <laughs> as long as those things don't obstruct line of sight. No. <laughs> there to shoot at yeah. the bazooka team over there. Okay, so these are rifles uh, needing long range, small team needing fives. And the red ones are the rifles. The that's your LMG, isn't it? Oh no, the other way around, isn't yeah, it? That's so it. The, the black ones need fours. The red ones need fives. So you've got two on the black. Nothing on the red. Hmm. But that's all you need is two. That could do it. If you're old like that, that would do it. Yeah, six and four. They're gone. So that's a dice to you, and that team's gone. Hey. Invented. Yep. See, tanks go a nice shot at those. You're not moving. No. Nope. No movement. And that is 16. Give or take a fraction. So it's just going to be a small team, isn't it? Yeah. So needing a four. And you get a one. Of course. But that's a bit of a bigger blast. I should hope so. <laughs> <laughs> But they live to fight another day, hopefully. Americans. Americans, right. You've been on this side, so I need to focus on this side. Right, let's have a go at... Right, so my mortar's going to fire, and unfortunately for you, it already ranged in. So I need anything but a one to hit again. Two. Mm. So you've only got two guys there. That should be covered by a two-inch template. So two dice is plus two, so two or more. So one hit. Okay, so one's dead on the five, then it's gonna be D3 pins. Got six. That puts him on eight. Yeah, but you've just lost half your unit, so you now need to take. Which is test. pretty much impossible. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're regulars. Yeah, so you're gonna fail anyway, aren't you? Yeah. Just another dice on the five. Five one. Ouch. And that team's cleared off. I'll leave that there. Okay. <laughs> That's where you need some casualty markers, aren't you? If you've got any spare legs and arms, you could just I'm working on that. That's <laughs> going to be one of my next projects, generic <laughs> casualties. And that'll look pretty cool. Groom as well. Yes. Okay, American again. So my Jeep is just gonna move. Nine inches. Well, I can go 12, I might as well go there. So okay, so I've just moved up to there, and then I'm gonna shoot at your light anti-tank rifle, or your anti-tank rifle. So it's movement four, so we need a machine gun, small team, it's movement four, small team five. Five shots needing fives. One hit, so that's a pin at least. And then to kill, four. So unless they're veteran, that's one dead. And then you need to take a test, don't you? This half the team with the no, So he comes off. They are regulars. So. Yeah, they're fine. Okay, so that's the uh, Jeep. Okay, 
Okay, let's, I'm gonna move my half track, I'm gonna pivot and just move my nine inches up to there. And then I'm gonna fire at your tank Ooh. with the heavy machine gun, just put a pin on it. Okay. So um, it's gonna be movement four and that's it. So just uh, three shots, needing fours. No, <laughs> I was just trying to put a pin on it, just to pin it out, I think. Okay. Another American. Another American, right. Right, so my engineers have just moved six inches forward and I'm afraid I'm gonna shoot at your anti-tank rifle. My flamethrower, I believe, is out of range. That's gotta be about seven or eight inches, isn't it? Um, but I'll work out what else there is and come back shortly. Okay, so I've got uh, two PLs, which are the four shots here, four rifles and an SMG. Um, they've all moved, so that's four, small team five, apart from the SMG, which has got long range instead of move. So they're all gonna need fives. So let's see. I'll just reroll that one. Okay, so I've got three hits and I just need a four to kill. And yeah, I've got five and potentially six. But that's another dice out of the bag. Come on. Two shots, two. Yeah, so you're gonna fire out the window, LMG. And a rifle, I presume? Presumably, yes. Yeah, so the... there you go. So I would imagine they're pretty much in the open, aren't they? Because yeah. half the building covers, I think probably only three of mine are covered by that building. Maybe two. So yeah, so they're in the open. So it's just going to be threes. And four shots. Is that your LMG? Or... Yeah. And then you've got rifle as well, haven't you? There you go, so three hits. And then you need fives to kill. Oh, look at that. So roll that four again, because that's Cox. Yeah, so three kills. Roll the two sixes again, in case you can get my flamethrower. You do, if you want that. Oh, yes. Flamethrower is a Flamethrower and two of my choice, so I'll take those. And they get a pin. There you go, good shooting. Nice. Best results so far. <laughs> yeah. Right, another, another die coming out. Italians again. Wow, what have you got left? Uh, you're a medic, medic and your officer. And the officer, basically. Uh, medic, I'm going to run into the woods with these guys. Uh -huh. Through the blasts. Yep. Let's see, there which not too far from those guys to really do much but at least he's with that squad yeah which is good and he gets a run marker lots of american stuff to come and it's the italians that'd be your officer he's going to run into the building with those guys yeah you can do that because it's ruins so lieutenant gray wolf has gone to join his companions yeah Okay, so last three are Americans. So let's start. I've got Le Lieutenant Bear or Lieutenant Bear next to the Rangers. So what do I want to do? I am going to attempt. Ah, hang on, because I'm thinking, do I assault you? We go together because there's a barrier. Yeah, let's keep it going. So I've got three, so they're, they're veterans. They've got three pins, but I do have a lieutenant, a uh, lieutenant next to them. So normally 10, down to seven, back up to eight. So eight or less, double ones, perfect. So, okay, so incredible courage, double one. So I remove a pin, but it's actually D6 plus one pins. So their pins are gone, they're pin three. So I am now going to run and I'm going to assault your medium machine gun. Of course. Okay, so I'm going to assault. The rangers are going to basically surround the barricade. Um, I'm 
Niho in a good position then to fight over the barricade. Now you don't get reactionary fire because you have already fired. Um, and because you're behind a barricade, we go simultaneously. So you get three dice uh, needing fives. And then I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, needing fours. And I need a slightly smaller one, which is the SMG. Again, needed fours, but can we roll if it hits? So do you want to roll yours first? Oh, look at that, two dead, that's good. And then these all need fours, but the small one can we roll. Yeah, so you're dead. So I take the dice and that makes it seven, one. And I get to reconsolidate four inches and I need to take two off as casualties. So they're two dead from the Rangers and I am just gonna jump into the sandbags here. Making sure I spread out in case your tank fires at me. Okay. Hmm. Okay, that's one. And that's the assault. That's one American, so you've got two left. Oh yes, thank you. Um, then I also have these guys here. They've got two pins, so let's see if I can roll low to get them to move. Eight, nine, ten, they get down again. Just goes to show the difference, doesn't it, between veterans and regulars. They ain't going anywhere, and that's only two pins. And then I've just got these guys here, so... Uh, I am going to run, actually. I don't normally, but I'm going to run up so I can get in towards your troops in there. Okay, so they've just run up. So we're in a good position for next round with the troops in there. So there you go. I think that's the end of turn two. Um, and yeah, the Italians have taken quite a hit. So let's see what happens in the next turn. Okay, turn three. Let's see what happens next. He's going to get the first dice. Mm, Can't be Italian again. Nope. Okay. Americans this time. That's the first time the Americans got the first die. It is. It is. And I need to do something here. So my bazooka is... Now that was just long range, so I could hit you on a four, couldn't I? Or do I move? That's still going to be a four. Yeah, I'm just going to take a shot. So needing a four. And we get a five. So what's your front armor on that? Is it seven, eight, nine? One second. So I've got plus five, haven't mm. I? Nine. So plus five, so four with a glance. Three, so it's just a pin. Another American. Another American. My half track is going to fire, and that will be straight to the side of your tank with the heavy machine gun. So three shots. Um, I think is it just three? Now can you just measure the range? See if it's over. Oh, that's eighteen. So the heavy machine gun's thirty-six. So it's kind of on the borderline of. I think it's gonna be, isn't it, if I went for the front corner. Mm. So it's within range, isn't it? Yeah. So just, so it's just gonna be threes. Got rolling. Uh, so it's two hits, I can't penetrate, so it's just another pin. Okay. Okay, next dice. Another American. Another American, right. Let's be really mean. My rangers are going to do an advance. Engineers, you mean? Engineers, thank you. But they do have a pin, so let's see what happens. Yeah, that pin's gone. And I am going to try to get your... Oh, you took my um, flamethrower out. Oh, I was going <laughs> to flamethrower you. Well, I'm not doing that now, but I've said I'm moving then, so let's see what I'm going to do. Okay, so without my flamethrower, I can't do what I wanted to do. So I'm just going to move there. Mm -hmm. That's as far as I get to the entrance. So I'll just move up and that's it. Okay, American dice again. So I'm going to fire my mortar. 
and I'm going to fire it at your troops over here. So, first shot, needing a six. Jesus. <laughs> How is that possible? I don't know. <laughs> I'm fluky but dooky. So, two inch template. I think. going to be four. I reckon I can get five if I go there. What do you think? Hmm. Yeah. Sorry. We can go for four if you want. But I think. So it's. Let's do four. So four dice. They're regulars, aren't they? So um, I've got plus two penetration. So three hits. And I'll rather d6 again, just in case. No, so it's three, three dead. And you take d3 pins. So that's two pins. Ah, I've got them. No, maybe it doesn't do anything, does it? Uh, no, because it's uh, HE, isn't it? And we're ranged in. I think the mortar's becoming my new favourite weapon. <laughs> After, 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 after your fire, uh, after your um, flamethrower. Yes. The flamethrower. Well, no, he's the one. You killed him, so I can hide my mortar away. Okay, that's the pins one there. This time it's the Italians. Do you know what you're going to do? Uh, yes, I'm going to fire the crap out of those guys. With your unit? Yes. You've got to take a test first, haven't you? Two pins. Oh, let's see what happens. Seven. Nine. Eight, yeah. Nine. So down to one pin. And you, who are you firing at? Yep. Okay. So Was pin. The biggest threat. Yeah, pin four. Uh, soft cover five. So that is going to be um, the element, uh, submachine gun. Well, actually, some of those would be point blank as well. There's sort of a like... guy in there. Yeah, so all bar one rifleman uh, who is the one at the back are point blank. So you've got. So that basically takes the pin off, doesn't it? So it's just going to be little soft cover. It's the rifle uh, LMG. And that leaves me with one, two. Rifles. So if one of those you loader. Yeah. Where's your loader? Yes. He's the one that's out of range, I guess. Uh, it has to be within one inch of your machine gun, so that should be a loader there. Well, if that's that, if that's your that, machine that, gun. That is the loader, you can see. If I quickly swap open, because they should be within one inch. Well he is within. Isn't oh your, sorry. Yeah. No. It's fine, don't worry about it. Um so you've got your LMG and then you've got uh one rifle and an SMG at a point blank. Then you've got one rifle that's not. So your one rifle that's not will be pin four, soft cover five. The others need fours. Okay, these are all fours, and then mm -hmm. I'm going to roll one later for five. Yep. Fours. And uh, what's that? Five? Got the dice over here. Yeah, so that's what we've got. So that's five so far. That's some good shooting. And this one needs a five. And then let's see what comes out of those five. Oh, look at that two. Roll those again in case you get the AI or the NCO. Yeah, so you get, so how many is that? Two dead and one you choose. Yep. So I presume you want the BAR or do you want the NCO? Uh, I guess the bars are one that actually is probably gonna be, no, take the SMG out. Yeah, so that's an NCO and a rifleman, they're gone, and I need to put a pin on. There we go. The Rangers have lost a couple again. A harder unit, but they're getting a bloody nose now, aren't they? Americans. Right, so you've been this side, so I don't need to worry about that. Your tank hasn't been. Um, let's... So Lieutenant Bear, well, yeah, Lieutenant Bear, he is gonna run order back this way, um, basically to the guys that so he's just gonna go from here one two so it should be about here 
Yep. There you go. So Lieutenant Bear is getting back into support these guys. Come on, get up there. Well done, Bear. Go on, you can push them. Make them do it. <laughs> okay, next dice. Right, Americans, I am going to fire at your officer, if I can see him. I'm going to fire at someone in there anyway. I think your officer's just about hidden at the back. So I'm going to fire. Just have to fire at your unit with my sniper. So ignoring cover, just needing a three. Oh, got to roll it in. And I get a six. Jesus, the number of sixes you're rolling. Uh, let's see if I can get your LMG. Yep. Choo. So the guy at the gate and the door. That was Luigi. <laughs> no, no. Okay, Italians, what have you got left? Your tank and Medic, your... officer and that squad. Yeah. Do you know what? I'm going to have a go at this. I'm going to attack. Assault. Wait. Assault. Those yep. guys over there. Which, distance-wise, I know I can do. Mm -hmm. Are you within six? Because if you are... I am. Uh, but I think... Every game is a living game. Indeed. So, Olaf has just checked the rules and he's within six, so I do not get reactionary fire. However, Olaf is going across, across rough ground to get out of the, the building ruins, so we go simultaneously. So, whatever Italian is for charge, off Avanti. you go. Avanti, there we go. And then, as per the previous descriptions, yeah. And line up as much as possible. You know that's a bit of a suicide charge, don't you? I believe. So you get, you need to remember you've got an SMG. One, two, three, four, five, and an SMG. Correct. And I get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and an SMG. So that's the rifles. Yeah. That's the SMG, which gets to reroll if there's any issues. Okay, do you want to see it? So you killed one. So this slightly... Oh, that one gets a re-roll. Okay. SMG. Yeah. It gets a re-roll if you hit. Oh. So the small one, the green on my hand, so they're the 10 rifles, yep. this is the one SMG. Uh, and of one. Yes. By quite a lot. Yes. So unfortunately that means you get wiped out. I take a man off with a rifle. And then I get to reconsolidate D6 inches. Which will put you Five inches. Okay, I've just moved up to the building there. Um, and then we've just got Grey Wolf in there as the Italian officer. So, but I'm against the wall, so that does help. Okay, can't be much left then. No, not really. Italians. Oh, is that your tank or your medic? Uh, that'll probably be... Okay, so you're going to take a pot shot at the bazooka you need to pass your test first. You got two pins. And you don't. Okay, well that means... So it goes down, but what effectively happens is it backs up. Okay. So... You just need to back up. I think you can only get about six inches there, can't you? You can't go off, but you just back up. But that puts you at my bazooka range. Okay, so I've got my Jeep. I now know that you're not gonna attack me with your tank, so he's gonna turn and he's wheeled, so he can go 12 inches to there. And he is then going to fire, he's not point blank, but it's just going to be movement, soft cover, uh, with a medium machine gun. So needing fives on your guys in there. Uh, two hits, mm -hmm. so they get another pin. And nothing but a pin. Yeah, a pin is a pin. Yeah, it all helps. Yes, I should probably put this. 
those guys not with the medic. Did you take the dice out for your unit getting wiped out on there? Uh, I put it up there. Oh, okay, right. cool. They had a guy lying next to them to mark what they were. I mean, I've got one, two left in there. Yeah, two left. Oh, your officer's got some SMGs, haven't they? So they can still dish out a bit of pain. Yep, and it is him. <laughs> it's difficult. Because your medic can't really do anything, can he? He's, he's just there to... Support those yeah. guys. Uh, well, he's going to take a pot shot at these guys. Yep. Yeah. So that's two guys with SMGs. Yeah, and that's why I thought about backing away and being out of SMG range, but hey. Range-wise, that's six. Mm -hmm. So, um, you're point blank, so you've got four shots. Mm -hmm. Point blank brings it down to two, but then hard cover from the wall, because I'm against this wall. Is what we were saying, wasn't it? So that take it back up to four. So four shots needing fours. Sounds about that right. Yeah. I think had it, had it been a building and you were against the wall, I wouldn't have been able to get it close. Three. Obviously some sixes. There was three there. Yeah, that's what you needed for the. Okay, so that's at least a pin. Uh, two dead, and a pin. Let's take a couple of guys off the end of here. There you go. So that's a pin and two dead. Ouch. It's not, not bad. Good. Just get down, I guess. Yep. That leaves us with three Americans. So, start oh, with the three first Americans, one. yeah. So let's try and get this unit. I've got Bear there. Come on, Bear. You can motivate them. Come on. Give us a Bear roar. Right. Let's see. They've got two pins. I've got an officer next to them. So ordinarily it'd be a nine because they're regular, two pins down to a seven, but I've got bear there, which brings it back up to an eight. <laughs> and they foobar. So let's see what I get on a foobar. I don't think this is well, I've got the opposite bar. Three, so let's see what that is. Right, so they can see the tank over there, so I'm just gonna have to run this way as far as possible. I can't go off the board, but I'm essentially moving them over here. So oh, these have played a massive part in the battle. <laughs> it's a good job you've got a couple of pins on them. They've worked to treat, haven't they? Yeah. There you go. So Bear, I think you're raw. You did it too vigorously. You've uh, scared them and they've run off, thinking the enemy are nearby. There you go. So that's a run order. And then I've got... Next one. Uh, oh, are these guys still got to go? Yeah, I believe so. Ah. Huh. So I'll do those in a minute because I'm going to assault your officer. So these ones here have a pin and no NCO. So let's try and Why get them to pass. There anymore, should it? No. no, that's to say there's no NCO. Oh, gotcha. So uh, they've got one pin, eight, nine, no NCO. So they go down. Cool. Uh, and then the other one is going to be these guys over here. Okay, so I know they're within six because you just shot at me. Correct. So I'm going to do exactly the same as what you did coming out, but I'm going in. So you don't give reaction refire. You've already been anyway, so you can't. But we're going to go simultaneously. Correct. So I'm just going to charge in and we'll go simultaneously. I do, however, have a pin. So I need to pass that first and hopefully not get foobar. Three, yeah, so that pin's gone. And then I'm just going to charge this unit in as best I can around Grey Wolf, sorry mate, but um, I've put you with the Italians, so you've got to... Grin and bear it. Yeah, so you get two SMGs and if they hit they go again. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and an SMG. Nope. And then I get seven so that's three, six, seven, and an SMG. And the SMG goes again if I hit. So I just need two, don't I? Yeah, so they're gone. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, Grey Wolf. Need to do that. <laughs> but that means Bear's still in the fight. He's the, the honorary patron. So that's another Italian dice. Yeah. And then I get to consolidate another six. 
six inches and there's not really much now they can do in the fight so um i'm just going to run them out well just get them six inches out here just try and keep them moving the, maybe the momentum will keep them going okay and that's the end of turn three isn't it there's a pile of chianti in this house <laughs> that's why they keep move the momentum goes is it <laughs> pizza and chianti right, turn four right let's see who's going to get the first dice i'm hoping it's me because um should have a lot more than you. Yep, you do. Right, let's see, what am I gonna do? Ah, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm really sorry, but my um, my mortar had ranged in, hasn't it? Yeah. So I just need a two plus to hit on the infantry unit, and I do. So now we just need to work out how they're spaced up. Four, three or three, four, three. Yeah, I'll say three, so. Anything but a one, really, isn't it? Because they're fours. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's still ranged in, though, but you still get pins. Uh, so the uh, medium mortar is uh, D3 pins, is it? So I rolled a six. That's five, then. Wow. So they survived it, but they're uh, in a bit of shock. And it's the Italians. So they're the last three units you've got, the yeah. back unit there. So the the medic unit and the tank. Uh, I'm going to just try and take a pot shot with him at your jeep. Yeah, the jeep is recce, by the way. Okay. Before you do that, because I'm likely to recce on Which means I'll basically reverse back yeah. and you won't be able to see me. Okay, so I'm going to recce back. If you might as well just move me. Reverse straight back, right? Yeah. 12. Okay, so the Jeep has wreckied out. I think I'm out of your arc now. Yep. Yeah, so I've kind of saved myself there. Um, yeah, you need to just um, stick a dice next to my American one next to the Jeep because he's wreckied away. That's his move. Done. Mm -hmm. but I guess it saved you some machine gun fire. I'll just call him a good down, there's nothing else I can think of. Yeah, that's work. good enough. And this means nothing happens there. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, so Olaf is going to have a go at assaulting the bazooka team, which are within 12, but further than six. He's just got five pins to contend with. So. No. Oh no, no, so they go down. Do you know, that would have been awesome, wouldn't it? <laughs> Last charge. Last that would have been, I think that would have been the only thing that could have, that's the only thing that could damage your tank, isn't it now? That bazooka yeah. man. Yes, it is. I should protect him maybe a bit more. Uh, right, so. I am just going to advance this nine inches because it's tracked, it can go across there. So that's three, six, nine. And I'm just gonna do what I did before. Fire your tank. This is movement for three shots. I don't think you got soft cover there, have you? No, probably not. Yeah, let's see. I wouldn't have thought Just so. over half your tank. So it'll be three shots needing fours because of movement. One, that's all I needed for a pin, so just take that back up to three. I can't damage it. But all I'm trying to do is just keep it out of the action. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Lieutenant Bear is just going to move six inches back this way, and he's just getting ready to get these guys moving again. He's going to talk a bit softer to him. He's not going to do the bear roar. He's going to remind. <laughs> he's going to remind them there's Chianti and pizza here. <laughs> yeah. Get up there! You're going to miss it. Good. Okay. Next dice. Okay. American dice. I am going to try and get the Rangers moving. So they've got one pin and no NCO, so I need to roll low six, so they've passed. So the pin comes off, and then I've got a BAR and three rifles. So it's five shots. Okay. Um, I'm pretty sure. I must... My medic is within six inches yep. of these guys, and it says if a friendly infantry or artillery unit that has a medic model within six inches 
Suffers damage from small arms fire. One yeah. dies roll for each point of damage caused. So every time I kill one, you roll a six. If yep. you roll a six, you save them, basically. Yep. Yeah, so I've got four shots, five shots, because I've got three rifles um, and a BAR. It is point blank, so it makes it two. Soft cover makes it a three. So five shots needed threes. So three miss, so there's another pin. And then I've got two needed fours, one kill. Let's see if I can. So nothing special, and you see if you can save it. No, nope. almost. So just one dead and a pin. Mm -hmm. I very rarely see medics save people, but then I guess on a battlefield. How often have we actually had medics? Now? Okay, now's come of the hour, come of the man. Come on, bear, get these guys motivated. So they got two pins. So normally a nine, down to a seven, but they're going to so eight. Yes, so that's a pin removed. And these guys are just gonna run. They need to get up into the combat. So they're just legging it. They've told them what to do and they've gone, oh, right, now you're not bearing in. Rawr. They're running up, so we go. But they still do have a pin. There we go. Americans, obviously. Yeah, so, bazooka team. They're gonna run. Oh, no, they're not actually. I'm just gonna go there. And I'm gonna fire. If you could measure the range for me. So it's, uh, movement is four. That is 16. 16, yeah. So movement four, Enough. long range five. Oh. Okay, so my sniper team are just oh, going to go down. That is literally, oh no, just out. So what, what I'm going to do instead of going down actually is I'm just going to re-move them out down to here. I'm going to run order. So they might get a chance to shoot this turn. Okay. American. Okay, let's get some running. I'm just going to run my engineers six, 12 to about there, if you to be honest. Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. Yeah, nothing much but just go down with his buddies over there. Yeah. And that leaves this one American unit, which is. And yeah, they're, they're not going to get across, so they'll just go down. They, they can't do anything. So see any right over there, I can't even get them across into the fight, really. And to be fair, there's not much left of the Italians on there, so. Right, but that's the end of turn four. So there's not really a great deal left for the Italians. You've got a small part of the squad there that probably are about to get mortared. And your tank with three pins. Yep, that's about it. And a medic. <laughs> okay, we've decided to call it. There's not much point carrying on. Um, I think the Italians um, haven't got much longer there the, the mortars ranged in and if I can get that bazooka up I can even if I can't I can still pin it out with a heavy machine gun so yeah it's lucky dice rolling I think for me definitely um and I don't know you, the two it, things that caught me I think were the sniper and the flamethrower yeah because the sniper took out my mortar right at the beginning and then your flamethrower took out a unit pretty much all by itself and a couple of lucky rolling. There's been some quite a few sixes at the beginning of the game, wasn't yeah. it? The mortar as well, particularly ranging in and killing that unit. First two turns, but effectively, I took out the kind of centre of the board, didn't I? Yeah. Quite quickly. Um, yeah, felt a little bit one-sided, to be honest. I think, I think because the Italians folded in the middle, it then prevented you from really having something tangible your tank was probably the, the if you if you'd have been lucky with your tank or done something good with the tank yeah and I the think sniper that going, my sniper going early was also a bit of a blow yeah yeah but again it's just down to 
the dice roll, isn't it? Sometimes mm. lucky, sometimes not. And I think me having some lucky dice roll, and and also you were unlucky with the Italian dice in the first round. Yeah. Constantly, yeah, everything Italian, came Italian, 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 and it makes you, it's difficult for you because you're then you're just getting into position, and then you've got to bear the brunt of my attacks, exactly. which you know, moving the half track up, then the engineers yeah, coming out. It's um, yeah, that's quite a heavy toll. Still, an interesting game. Yeah. And it cemented our, you know, the assaulting we did was good fun. Yes. And, you know, it's um, just cemented the knowledge around that. I think that, that worked really well. And it's thematic, isn't it, as well, you know? I regard every single game as a learning game. Yep. And given that this is my first prop attempt with Italians, um, it's given me a few ideas of what I need to flip around a little bit. Nice looking army, though. That tank's lovely. And your, your um, half track thing. The Sahariana. The Sahariana, that's it. <laughs> I, have got, I need to do some Italians, but all in good time. But anyway, thank you very much for hosting. Okay, thank you very much for setting up a fantastic board, and thank you very much for having a game. Um, I hope everyone else enjoyed it. Don't forget, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and look out for um, future battles. I think next week it's um, Black Powder with George, and we might even go to do American War of Independence. If not, we'll do another American Civil War. But uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it, and see you all soon.